Hey everyone, this is Desiree here with DTP Actions and Design, and today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Beautify action. Okay, so I've got my photo opened up here, and I've already ran my base actions um, for lightning, popping, and in fact I used Lighten Up Pop It um, from the Practical Collection. And I'm going to go ahead and run Beautify for you guys now. And in this action, you're going to be able to sharpen eyes, whiten teeth, brighten eyes, and smooth skin. So it's kind of an all-around nice portrait action. And I do use this on every photo that I take, especially if it's a close-up. If they're farther away, um, it's kind of iffy. But most of my style of shooting is normally close-up, so I do tend to use this on pretty much every photo I take. Okay, so I go a little bit out of order here and start with sharpen his eyes first. It's just kind of personal preference. You guys are welcome to go in whatever order you would like, but that's what I'm going to start out with. It's just kind of a weird habit for me. And of course, I'm going to zoom in um, so I can see what I'm working on really well. And for sharpen those eyes, I usually run around 50% opacity, so that's where I'm going to start at. And I have a nice size brush now, so I've clicked on my layer mask and I've got my white brush. And I'm just going to go around and trace the outside of her eyes. And I also use Sharpen Those Eyes on the mouth and nose occasionally just to kind of make those features um, pop out as well. Um, I normally almost always use it on the mouth and occasionally I use it on the nose as well if I just want to pop it out just a little more. So you guys can already see um, that that's making a pretty good difference there. And next I'm going to bounce down to brighten those eyes. And again, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit farther so I can really get in this detail and get the color I want it to be. And I usually run this somewhere between 10 and 15%. I'm going to go ahead and stick with about 12 for this. Um, I probably would stick with 10 normally, but I'm just trying to make sure you guys can really see the difference when I'm done. Since her eyes are lighter, I would probably stick with that 10, though. Um, I would say the darker the eyes, you would get more towards the 15 range. And now I'm going to use Whiten Those Chompers. I'm going to use it on the teeth, but I'm also going to use it on the eyes, and you guys will see why in just a moment. Um, Whiten Those Chompers has a little bit of a desaturation element to it as well. So if you have this blue hue up in the eyes, it can help that out a little bit. And again, for Whiten Those Chompers, I would go between 10 and 15%, depending on what you feel like you need at the time. Um, and if you start out at 10 and it's not enough, you can always go over it again at a higher opacity. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and go to the eyes now. I'm going to make this just a little smaller so I can really get in those details. And I'm going to stay around that 15% just because there's such a blue hue in here. Let's see if we can take that out just a little. It'll minimize it for you. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out a little here so we can kind of see what we're doing. I'm turning that on and off. You guys can probably already see a big difference in the eyes and the mouth area. And now I'm going to get to the real magic maker, which for me is smooth that skin. And so for this one, and I do normally use this last as, again, just kind of personal habit for me, but I usually go between 20 and 30% on this. I'm going to go ahead and go 30 for you guys today so you can see the difference easier. I know um, when you're working with this on your own screen, it's going to be easier for you to see. So for mine, I just want to make sure you guys can really see what kind of difference this makes. And this is one of my most favorite things to use in the world, <laughs> pretty much. It makes my editing a lot easier. Um, again, the opacity is key on this. If you keep it between 20 and 30 percent, you're not going to get that plastic looking skin. If you go above that, it gets pretty iffy. So I, I really recommend not going above 30 percent on this. Um, and it, I mean, really, it's up to you guys, but if you keep it between 20 and 30 percent, you're still going to have that natural looking skin. It's just going to be a lot smoother. And this also has a brightening element to it as well. So you get um, a nice glow to the face. It's not necessarily a glamour glow action, but it does sort of give that effect because it does brighten up the face a little, um, especially under those eyes and that kind of thing. I'm also going to come out here since she has a little more skin showing. And I'm going to run this over the rest of her skin too because you don't want to have um, a really smooth face and then the rest of the skin not be as smooth, it's just going to look off. So I am going to come down here, I'm going to run at a little bit lower opacity and just kind of run over her neckline and we'll kind of go over her arms as well so it doesn't look like I went through and smoothed out her face. There's a little bit of dirt on the, the wrist right there which I would normally remove but for this I'm not too worried about it, I'm showing you guys how to use this. And one last step that I always take is 
um, switching back to my black brush, I'm going to lower this opacity down, and I run back over the eyes just to ensure that um, some of that smoothing element didn't go over my eyes, and nine times out of ten it does a little bit if you use that brush a little bit bigger. I do recommend using the bigger brush because it smooths into the skin better, but it, it does occasionally get over the important parts of the photo, which would be the eyes, nose, and mouth. So I always go back over that with 100% opacity. Um, the nose, I usually go over the nostrils at 100% because you don't want those looking foggy. And right around the creases, I'll usually go about 50% just to give a little more definition back in there, but not too much because you do like that nice smoothness going on. Okay, so I'm going to make this a good size for you guys. And I'm going to turn off the whole action so you can see a little bit of the difference going on there. So this is before Beautify, and that's after. Yeah. Hopefully you can see a nice difference there. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for you guys as well so you can see a little bit closer up. So this is before, and this is after. And I really do use Beautify literally on almost every photo I take. If it's any kind of close-up, it's getting Beautify applied to it. So I hope you guys found this tutorial useful. and. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying Beautify. Thank you very much.